Revelation, when, when it is actually talking about the bride of Christ, and it says that the bride has made herself ready. And all scholars agree that, that, that the garments were dirty, that the garments that the bride was wearing were, were stained and tainted with, with worldliness and, 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 and not being the righteous example, but being a wicked example. And where's that clarion call? We need another 9-11 mm. to wake and shake us. But you know this, after 9-11, I think America just got patriotic. We didn't really repent. No. We never really did turn no, back to God. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? We preached messages along that line, but we didn't really know how to deal with it. I think, I think something <laughs> tragically worse than that could be on the horizon for this nation. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know, in the Bible, it talks about the hand of the Lord. And it says, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. The hand of the Lord coming can indicate blessing, but many times in the Old Testament, the hand of the Lord was judgment. And what God does, I've often said this, that in the New Testament connotation, and I don't have time to go to all the scripture, but in the New Testament connotation, for God's blessing to be upon us, his hand is with us. For judgment to come, all he does is lift his hand. Yes. Because but the hand is the hedge. The hand is the protection. Now, Bill, just, uh, I want to get into the air of spring here in a moment, but I think you want the layer to see it. Well, I just think it's important, since you guys were mentioning that, that people understand just what Laodicea is. Yeah. When he goes and he speaks to Laodicea, he, he says, you're neither hot and you're not cold either. You're lukewarm. And what is lukewarm? It is a mixture of hot and cold, a mixture of good and evil, of holy and profane. And profane. 